I am uh, eldest granddaughter Rachel. Um, it's been 23 wonderful years with Grandma Jo. I'm looking forward to more. Um, and I'll keep it brief. I know it's been a long time, and I am certainly looking forward to cake. I'm sure you guys are too. I'm a sugar fiend, so yeah. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to start off by, of course, saying happy birthday, Grandma Jo. And it's wonderful that so many people have been able to gather here for your birthday. And it's great to see you know, people from before I was born who have great stories about you. So I've definitely enjoyed that. Um, I don't know how many of you were lucky enough to grow up with a grandma you know, a mile away from your house, like a long bike ride, a short drive, but I was. Grandma Jo was just down the main street, and it was great to be able to go over there, um, go over to Grandma Jo and Papa's house every week when my mom was teaching, and we went out to dinner once a week as well with, uh, with Grandma Dinah. I had this little going to grandma suitcase. So I'd have like my PJs to put on at the end of the night, which was probably 7 p.m., let's be realistic. Um, I remember we played under the table. Grandma Jo was always on the ground with me because you know how kids are all over the place. Can't sit in a chair for long enough. Um, and I remember our great trips down to Grandma Warner's farm. Good, good adventures, learning about horses and corn and soybeans and all of those interesting <laughs> things. And for a city girl, it was very interesting. Um, as I grew older and our family grew larger, we had great family dinners every time I came home from college and also when I was in high school, usually Chinese or Mexican, which I'm sure that's the reason I love both of those uh, dishes now. And then when I was in college, I got to visit Grandma Jo's class and it was just amazing to be able to see how she was teaching her students and what she was teaching them. And we got to, after that, we started, you know, more often discussing issues of diversity in life and in the world and, and it was really, um, you know, increased my intellectual thinking about life. Now, having been the only grandchild for 15 years was not bad. I, I can't lie. <laughs> but now that I have three cousins, um, I receive continual joy, not only to have these three beautiful, intelligent, creative, and talented cousins oh, who are standing right here and are being told to come over here. I don't think they will. Okay. You'll notice them. Um, they're running around. <laughs> So it was, it was great to be able to have these three beautiful kids around, but also to see the joy Grandma Jo and, and Papa both got from all four of us, especially when the four of us can get together like we can this weekend. And of course, my own relationship with Grandma Jo continues to grow with our time together changing from fun and games under the table to rewarding conversations about life, great advice, and of course, continued fun and games, but this time with more participants such as basketball with Elijah and Papa, or playing babies with the girls, though I think they're starting to grow out of that as they progress through elementary school. So, in closing, um, Grandma Jo has played a major role in helping me become the person I am, supporting me to become the indep independent woman I've become, and getting me excited about becoming a grandma myself many, many, many <laughs> years down the line. Many years. Um, so, thank you so much for everything, Grandma Jo, and me and all, all of the grandkids. Love you and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.